Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to today's video where we are going to be doing my once every two weeks new makeup releases. Will I buy it? Is there anything at all that looks even moderately interesting out right now? What should I be spending my money on? And uh, is there a cat hair? And trick question, how many cat hairs does Carolyn have in her mouth at any given time? Answer, lots. Anyway, so if you want to talk about new makeup with me, come hang. Oh my god, every time I think about doing an opening, I think of like other people's openings and I'm just gonna do it and then it's gonna be stupid because it's gonna sound like somebody else's. Anyway, if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching. Uh, for those of you who are new here, hi, I'm Carolyn. I do these new makeup releases every couple of weeks. Um, I could probably do them every week because I really do enjoy them. It's like one of my favorite things, but I don't know. It's not always that every week there's a whole bunch of fun stuff to talk about and I want to be selective and just talk about things that I'm either vaguely interested in or are so terrible that we just have to, at least in a positive, kind, mostly kind way, roast them at least a little tiny bit, okay? Anyway, so that's what's going to be today's video. New makeup stuff. As always, I get all of my stuff, stuff, that's third time stuff in a minute. Um, I get all of my new beauty news off of Trend Mood, Indie Makeup Spotlight, and Beauty News Official, all on Instagram. So I will actually hopefully do it this time, put them down in the description box so you can check them out yourself if you are interested. So throughout the last couple of weeks I've been saving stuff. I always end up saving like three or four of the same thing, so if I'm just sitting here like panning through my pictures for a while, that's that's why. But there's not too much stuff actually. I don't know, it's like there haven't been a lot of new releases and I don't know if it's because like at the beginning of this lockdown, um, whatever country you're in, uh, here in the UK we are still on lockdown. There's going to be an announcement this evening about slight restriction lifts, but it seems like it's mostly going to be like exercising outside and um, that kind of stuff. But so I don't know if it's like a natural slowdown because at the beginning of this lockdown people, there was still like products ready to go and things that are happening. And now as we've gone into it more and more and more, you know, some countries six weeks, some countries eight weeks, that there is starting to be that like lull in products that are coming out because we're now kind of, we've done all the backups that we had and now there's nothing kind of new out. So if that's what's happening, I think it's okay. I don't think we need like a huge amount of products every single week to talk about. This is why I think every two weeks for me personally works really well. But also there is definitely a glut of makeup on the market right now. I mean, trying to like even look in, I have like a basket on the floor, which is like full of new stuff for me to review and etc. And there's just so much in it right now that I haven't even got to. One, work's been a bit busy and I haven't been filming. And also like health, mental stuff, um, which we're not going to go into, don't worry. But it's like overwhelming the amount of stuff I have. And that's even with the fact that I buy everything myself and that there hasn't been a lot of new releases. So, you know, thinking back to like, I don't know, think of like August or September of last year. It was bananas the amount of stuff that was being released every week i mean so so much so actually for our pocketbooks you know maybe it's a good thing and we can be a little bit more picky because there's only a few releases so we just pick the ones that are absolutely the best rather than feeling like we have to collect everything all at once that's my two cents i don't know um in case you're wondering stella is not with us today she is on the bed in the other room um i will talk about it in another video coming up but there is a territory war going on betwixt the two cats and um, last night, Betty's new favorite place is on the bench, the chair next to me. That's where he wants to be kind of all the time, except for at night when he's sleeping with me. But after dinner, he wants to come back and sit on it and go to sleep. And last night, Stella went and slept on it instead. And he just sulked on the floor for like three hours. Like he wouldn't go sit anywhere else. He just sat on the floor at the bottom of it looking sad. So yeah, they're definitely, um, they're being silly. But I'm wearing my, my black cat shirt in honor of both of them today. So Betty is, is here, but he's not going to show himself on camera unless uh, I bring out food or something. So what I'll do is I will scoot over and we'll put up the pictures of the new the new stuff over here. Okay, just a wee scoot. Hi. Is it okay? You okay? All right, so I have my Dr. Pepper Zero. I have my phone full of delights. So shall we start with the stuff that's older? Yes. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about... Oh. Okay, it's this thing. So this is from Sugary Cosmetics. It's the Sugary Scoops Ice Cream Collection. So it's already launched. It came out at the end of April. So this is uh, 27th of April, it came out. 
So we have lipsticks, highlight palette, a blush palette, and a banana. I'm assuming this is supposed to be split, dear, but banana split eyeshadow palette says split, which is a worrying term. Anyway. Um, so, I mean, it's a rainbow palette, the banana split eyeshadow palette, um, which retails for 30 US dollars. What's the company? Yeah, Sugary Cosmetics. Um, so it looks kind of cute, but I am still waiting for my Glam Light Cake palette, courtesy of my mum. Um, so I'm not really particularly interested in that. I still want the Tokyo, no, what is it? The BH Trendy in Tokyo palette, which every time I put in my cart on Beauty Bay sells out before I can buy it. So clearly there's a high demand for that. Um, I will get it eventually. Um, so from that perspective, like as a rainbow palette, I'm not interested in it. But do you see what it looks like? It's like a weird like cut out picture of like a Sunday, and that's the palette. And I'm like thinking of like my setup over here and how I have everything stored and I don't know where the F I would put this thing. I mean, no idea at all. It looks a little bit bulky and I don't know. The colors look cute though. I think if it was more of a regular shape palette with like a Sunday theme to it instead, then it might be more interesting to me. Not particularly interested in the blush palette, me and blushes, we ain't, we ain't BFFs right now. Um, lipsticks, don't really care about. The highlight palette, also don't care about. I don't need highlight palettes. I don't need any more highlighters, to be quite frank. Um, but if I do, I'm gonna go for singles right now because I tend to pick highlights that are the wrong color for me if I buy it like in a pack. So I think kind of being more choosy and picking the ones that are gonna be good for my skin color, which is as pale as humanly possible, um, I think we'll go with that. So this, we're starting off with a, nope. Um, those are hideous, so we're not going to do that. Um, there is, we're actually starting with some indie ones to start with, that's kind of fun. Um, so this is Copacetic Cosmetics. There is a new quad that came out in April. Um, and then there's a male quad. Okay, so there's two different quads that have come out and are coming out from Copacetic Cosmetics. So the one with the green and the kind of, um, what do I want to call it, like a royal blue. That's the April one, I think. And then the one that's kind of more on the dusty colors is the May. I really like the May palette color with that kind of um, dark blue, it's like a teal, like a dusty teal, the copper and that kind of shimmery, uh, I don't know, taupe, almost shimmery taupe. I think that's really pretty. I'm probably not gonna pick it up. Again, I'm not gonna do a lot from indie brands in the States because of the amount of shipping and everything at the moment. So it will be a pass from me, but I do think that this collection looks pretty cute. What do we got? Okay, Makeup Maniacs. Now I have heard of them a few times. I think, who is it? Who is it that I... I think Abby Williamson talks about them a little bit. Am I right there? I don't know. Anyway, they have a new Pastel Treats palette. Um, so it's a nine pan palette, 24 US dollars, soft rainbow shades in mattes and shimmers. Now there's that one and there's also a Weekend Soiree palette. Yes? Uh, yeah, so I'll also put the picture for that one up here. So the pastel one, I think I'm now bored <laughs> of all the pastel things that have been coming out. I think my uh, Sugar Pill uh, Fun Size palette pretty much covers me for most pastels. And then those Huda things that I bought and what else do I have that's pastel? What else did I buy? Oh yeah, and the Nomad um, Tokyo, the Harajuku one. So I'm okay with pastel ones. The, min the Weekend Soiree actually looks really pretty to me. And that deep green, the deep purple, purpley red color. Some of the shimmers look really pretty. I think that might be a pressed, yeah, it has pressed glitters in it. Um, the, I don't care, like I don't hate them, I don't love them, I just won't use them because I don't really put glitter on my eye very much. Um, I think they're both really cute. I like the Midnight Soiree one. The Sugar Plum color, uh, let me just pop it up here really quick. It does look like it's a, a, a glitter, but it's like opalescent, like there's two, kind of like a little bit of shift in there, so that looks really pretty. Um, I wouldn't mind trying Makeup Maniacs, but I don't think these are gonna be the ones that I'm going to try quite yet. Okay, so this I nearly bought, but I couldn't find my color on the website I was on, so I'll have to wait till they do a restock. And this is the Dior Summer Skin. So I really love the Dior, uh, this one, the Forever Skin Correct, to use kind of all over. It's, it is a concealer, but you can also just like dot it around your face a little bit and use it that way. So this is kind of their really lightweight formula, and it says it gives a natural glow finish to your skin. It says it's 24 hour wear. 
Yeah, my oily skin could put that to the test. If you're interested, let me know. <laughs> um, it looks really pretty, really light, very almost like it's just a tinted moisturizer is kind of the look to it. I'm very tempted to try this. I probably will pick it up once I can find the color that's best for me. So in the concealer, I'm using 1N. Um, so I'll probably try and maybe pick pretty similar to this because this is almost a perfect match for my face. I probably should have gone a little bit lighter in the concealer, but if you're using it all over, you don't want it to be lighter than your skin color. So anyway, so I'm definitely going to pick actually out this up, the Forever Summer Skin, as soon as I'm able to. Yay, something. <laughs> it might be it. Um, that's boring. That's boring. Okay. So Etude House. I'm still really, really interested in trying Etude House. I should have bought some when I was in Japan. I didn't. Um, I know it's a Korean skincare brand, but there's Etude House like shops all over the place in Tokyo. So believe me, I could have picked up plenty of this. This is their Play Color Eyes Rose Wine Palette. Sorry, itchy nose. It's 10 shades in matte shimmer and glitter finishes. Um, it says it'll be, holy, f oh God, there's a bundle price. Okay. There's a, a bundle price that includes the lip product, a gel eyeliner and a mascara for like 70 US dollars. And I'm like, I'm not paying that for a palette, but that's everything altogether from this collection. I think the palette looks really pretty. It's not like it almost looks like like a Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk one, don't you think? Like that big one that she came out with, it's really similar to that. Um, and I, I don't know what the quality is like. I'm anticipating again because it's a Korean brand that is probably going to be not as pigmented as possibly a, a different, you know, other brands because they don't, that's not the looks that they're going for, particularly. It's kind of more fresh and lighter looks. So I don't know. Um, I'm tempted by this, but I don't know if this is the right one for me to try a Tude House quite yet, but I'm really, really keen to. We'll get there. Uh, okay, NYX, I don't know if this is new. I guess it must be. It's the California Beeman Collection. It's liquid highlighters. So I have tried one liquid highlighter and that one was from Becca, the Moonstone liquid highlighter thingy. I liked it fine, but honestly, I haven't really gone back to it that much. I have been using just powder highlighters. This one has given me quite a lot of texture here in the skin. It's, um, you'll see this coming up later this week, but it's the Spectrum Oceana one. So this one's a bit not maybe right for my skin type. Um, but I haven't really delved into liquid highlighters all that much since then. And these, some of the colors look really weird. Like who wants like silver? Like it's not just like kind of silver. It's like silver all over the skin and I don't see who that's gonna look good on I mean unless you want to look like you're covered in silver I don't know I mean the other ones the rose one is looking okay I don't think I'm gonna get these I'm sorry they don't oh guys gross <laughs> sorry the color of the pearl one is called pearl necklace sorry no thank you um yeah the beach babe one in the rose looks pretty and the um the lightest one could be nice for me because I'm so pale, but I'm not going to buy these. I'm going to pass. Bye-bye. It's the same product again because I tag everything like 12 times. Okay, so I think the big release uh, this past kind of couple of weeks has been the Wayne Goss Cosmetics, the new lip collection. So what does it come with? It's a luxury cream lipstick and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10 cream lipsticks. Then there are, looks like one, two, three, four, seven glosses, and then five lip pencils. So I'm not really that obsessed or interested in lipsticks. Eyeshadows are more my, my, my game right now. They do look really pretty. I might want to watch some reviews of them. Um, the lip pencils look really nice. I like some of the colors in there, like uh, the sepia one looks really pretty. Um, so, I don't know. I know Wayne Goss has done really good brushes from what I hear. They're very expensive though, so it's way out of my, it's out of my budget, guys. But, um, I mean, the lipsticks aren't too bad. They're 28 US dollars. The glosses are 22 and the pencils are 14. So those seem kind of like the mid-range prices that we're dealing with right now. Like the Huda Beauty lipsticks are around 20 something pounds. Um, glosses, you know, could range anywhere from 10 to 30 or whatever. So I don't know, I may be, but I'm not that excited about it. It's probably just because I'm not that excited about lipsticks. So it looks really pretty, probably not gonna do it. Okay, so, sorry, switching hands. 
Um, ABH and Norvina, so this is actually part of the Norvina line, are launching some electric cake liners neon. These look very similar to the Suva Beauty ones. If you've seen the Suva Beauty, they do quite a lot of neon and glow-in-the-dark um, liners. They are water activated, so the same as the Suva Beauty ones, with vivid opaque color. How much are they going to be? They launch May 11th. Ah, they're going to be 31 pounds. Um, this is from Beauty Business UK, by the way. That's why it's lovely in pounds for me. Um, let me just see. Let me just see how much it is on Super Beauty. Okay, so Super Beauty's ones. Um, I'll just pop a picture up here just so you can see them. They are called Hydra Liners. Um, sorry. Um, and we have quite a lot of really fun colors. And in pounds, they're 11 pounds 45. And so again, I don't know if that's that's individually. Is the Norvina one? Is it a bundle? You get three. You get three in a pack. So in one of them, it's like a purple, an orange, and a white. And the other one, it's a red, a yellow, and a green. So roughly the same price as the Suva ones. So if you have the Suva ones, you probably don't need these ones. If you're interested in, give them a try. I'm in a pass. I don't really use um, any kind of cake eyeliners. I like my black liquid eyeliner. That's what I'm going to go for every single day, first choice. Um, so I'm not going to pick them up. I'm also been... I know some of you guys have really liked them, but I've been mostly disappointed by the Norvina subline of ABH, so I'm not that interested in trying any more products from them right now. Maybe in the future, but for now I think it's going to be a, a pass. That's just new packaging. Uh, NYX has some new, what are these? Bear with me, jelly, cr oh my god, I really can't see. <laughs> um, it's bear with me infused with cannabis sativa seed oil. We have a jelly cheek color, a gel blush, and we have a multitasking spray. So I've already discussed some comments about, you know, the cannabis stuff, but this isn't really labeled like that. It's just using some oils in it to make it, I guess, a little bit more emollient. Um, the I'm interested in the cream blushes actually quite a bit. Um, I do like NYX. The Bear With Me, what did I have? Um, I've had the Tinted Skin Veil for that line, so I do like it, so I might pick up one of these next time I am able to. Um, they're pretty cheap. It says they're around $10 each, so they'll probably be roughly around the same in pounds, so it might be worth picking one up. Some of the peachy colors look really pretty. Um, so that's a maybe? Maybe? Um, we talked about this quite a while ago, but the Huda Beauty Diamond Balms. Um, I have now ordered one, so it should be here next week, so I will give it a try and talk to you guys about it later. Um, they were, you know, supposed to launch quite a while ago, and then Huda decided to not, at least them personally, not sell them, and now they're kind of available everywhere again. So I have ordered one. I ordered the... I don't even know. Negligee, I think, is the color I ordered, but I don't actually know which one it looks like here. <laughs> so we will see. Ooh, Chantecaille. I love that powder. Um, they are coming out with their new summer 2020 collection. And we have a Radiance Chic Cheek and Highlighter Duo. 84 US dollars. I'm not gonna buy it. Um, and we have a Lip Tint Hydrating Balm for 34 US dollars. That's kind of a lot for a balm. I do love it though. I do love the Chantecaille stuff so far. Well, the one powder that I have. I'm just gonna assume I'm gonna love everything from them. Let's let's be honest there. Um, but uh, no, sorry, that cheek palette is way too fucking expensive. Sorry, that's just too much for me. The balms, maybe, but I think $34 for a balm is too much. I'm not gonna buy it. Ooh, I got that again. What else we got? Oh yeah. Speaking of Norvina, and Anastasia Beverly Hills, we have now da -da, the Norvina Volume 4. Big, giant ass, another palette. This is that, okay, it says a palette that can be worn day to night on any occasion. It's my version of a soft glam palette. Um, anyway, it will be available on the 11th of May, uh, pretty much from everywhere as far as I can tell. I don't have the price on here. It'll probably be roughly the same as the other ones, which I think was around, around 60, $60, 60 pounds, something like that. 
Um, I mean, it's pretty, but I really don't need another 25 pan palette from Norvina. Also, me and ABH, like I said, I wasn't interested in those liners, but I'm also not interested in buying from them directly anymore. So if I am gonna ever pick up anything else, I'm gonna buy it from Beauty Bay or from another retailer because every time I order something, it gets trashed. So their shipping is terrible. They don't wrap any of their products, guys. Don't buy directly from them, at least in Europe. Maybe it's better in other parts of the world, but Jesus. Um, so I think some of the colors in here are very pretty. It is leaning towards that pastel candy colors. So it's very on trend for like right now. And the packaging is this millennial pink kind of color. So it's pretty, I'm not gonna pick it up. It looks too samey to some of the other ones, like to the first one with like the purples and then a pop of yellow. So I'm gonna pass on it for now, unless you guys are like, oh my gosh, please, please buy it and please show us it and things like that, then maybe I will, but it would be for you and for nobody else. Um, da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. no, 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 no. Um, I don't think I ever talk about uh, nail polish on this channel. I'm not, I don't usually do my nails. Um, sometimes I get in the mood and I'll do them for like a couple of weeks and then I'll get really bored of it. Uh, Kathleen Lights has a new collection out. It is the Nudes Colors. The Colors Nudes... I don't... yeah? <laughs> so there's six colors in this collection. I think they're very pretty. I actually don't mind a nude nail polish. It's not for me. Um, I do like wearing black nail polish mostly and then maybe like a gray or a taupe kind of color and then sometimes red. Um, so I do like the colors that would be not nude for me. So like there's one, this like Olivia one here, which I think is really pretty. It's like a really dark chocolate brown. Um, the I Aliana, this one here, I think is really pretty. And the Lila one up here, I think is really nice. The other ones I'm not interested in all that. Mila one looks gross. Um, I'm not gonna pick them up. I'm not that interested in it. And I have some similar colors already in my collection. Um, this sounds very bougie, but the Dior uh, nail polishes, let me show you one, like these ones. I really like them. They work really well. This one needs obviously to be shaken up, um, but they're just a beautiful nail polish. They don't last very long, but they are very pretty. I also have about 10,000 nail polishes because I got really into it once. Okay. Ooh, kimchi. Is it kimchi beauty? Yeah. Kimchi chic beauty, tongue twister, has come out with the most concealer. A conceal, cover, correct, and contour. Um, is going to be available the 14th of May on Kimchi Chic Beauty. I do like Kimchi. I think she's adorable. Um, I'm not really in the mood for another concealer, especially one that's so... If it says the most, I'm assuming this is an extremely high coverage concealer. I picked up one from... Uh, Makeup Revolution. I'll show you guys in another video that's like really intense and really thick. Um, so I don't think I need more of that right now um also shade range wise it seems mostly all lights and kind of light mediums there's not a lot of deeper ones obviously that's not something that's a personal issue but i do think you need to be pretty shade inclusive nowadays so i think that's a bit of a bummer on this it looks fine um i'm not a little bit excited about it sorry Ooh, yeah, so I saw this. So maybe this is something I can actually get from MAC. It says it's available in Europe. So this is their um, Honor of Kings. Um, this is was a, a thing that was only out in Japan for a little while, so I'm kind of interested in this. I really think the packaging is cool um, to maybe try some MAC products. So it's MAC Cosmetics X Honor of Kings, March of... MAC? MAC Honor of Kings, yeah. And there is lipsticks, eyeshadow palettes, and extra dimension skin to finish. Um, and there are, yeah. So I don't know, I think this looks kind of cute. I like the packaging. I like like the different setups in each one. Um, I like all the calligraphy the on them. I think it's really pretty. Um, I don't know, I'm still tempted to try some MAC products. So maybe like getting one of these as like a bundle or something might be fun. I probably won't, but I'm saying that I'm interested. That's the same thing. What is this? Okay, so another indie one. Hmm, what do I think of these? Have you seen these? These are Lunar Skies Cosmetics. Three palettes are being released in May. Um, so what do we got? We got the Strawberry Moon Peach, Peach Me. Okay, is that what it's called? That's all I can see in the picture. And Nude Something. So let's just put the nude one off to the side. Not interested in. The peaches, meh, not interested in. So that leaves the pink, 
which is the only one here they're showing any swatches for, and I definitely have all these colors. Um, I'm not really into like vibrant neon pinks right now, so I think um, I will pass on all three of these, but they do look really pretty. Ooh, okay, so there, this is uh, Sample Beauty, and this is the Prodigy palette. So this one launched, what day was this? A couple of days ago on Sample Beauty and on Beauty Bay. Now I didn't pick this up, but I did pick up another new one from Sample Beauty, which is their like jewel toned one. So I'm interested to try their formula and see what it's like. Um, I, have, I have no idea. $25? That's not bad. And how many is in there? Seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven times three, 21 colors. So it's like like a dollar a color almost. So that's pretty cheap. So it could be that it's cheap quality as well, which I'd be very curious to try. So I am, I have bought it. Not this, not this particular one, but another one that is also quite new from Sample Beauty. So I will try that out on my channel pretty soon. Um, it should be coming next week. Okay, so I saw this on somebody else's uh, new makeup releases last week and I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> so this is... LA Splash Cosmetics X Hunger Games. Why? I mean, Hunger Games, is, it's been a, a minute since they were like the thing. So it seems like slightly out of date. I mean, I don't know, are they being, are like the films being re-released somehow? Or is there some new promotional campaign for them? I mean, I have no idea. I don't, I've watched a couple of the films and I've read the books, um, but like I'm not a stan or anything, so I have no idea. Some of the palettes look cute, um, but I don't know anything about LA Splash Cosmetics. So there's the there's a couple different collections. So there's the Exhibition Capital Couture, the Capital Girl on Fire. Okay, so there's a Capital Couture and a Girl on Fire collection. So there's two kind of separate sub collections. So I don't know which one is which based on on these pictures. So I think maybe the brown one is the Exhibition Capital one, and then the pinky one is the other. I'm not interested in all in this. Um, it's not really doing anything for me. I don't even know where I would get them. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pass on this. It's not... It's... It, no. Ooh, okay. NYX has a new lip plumping. Filler Instinct Plumping Lip Color. So it says it's semi-sheer, a shiny finish with ginger... Oh, and hyaluronic acid for a smooth and shiny look vegan formula, six shades. Now the reason I cringed is because I love ginger in like pie and like cookies and stuff, but ginger itself, we don't always get along very well. Um, so that worries me that it's going to taste like ginger and that I'm going to be like the whole time. I do like the idea that it's a sheer like wash of color and maybe with a little bit of a plumpy kind of look to it. So if I do an order from NYX, like if I get that bear with me, like the cheek colors, and maybe I would pick one of these up too. Um, not that excited, like I'm not gonna go run out to the stores and go buy these, but they're kind of cool. I don't know. Have you tried anything like these? Didn't they have some other products that were similar at one point? <sighs> okay, something I'm not interested in at all. Just. I'm gonna put it here, and then we're gonna talk about it for a minute, and then it's gonna go away. Is the knit the NARS Orgasm X collection? Literally this morning, I was watching um, Mel Thompson, uh, who if you haven't seen recently, she has long hair at the moment. She's wearing a wig. It looks very cool, but very different. Um, it kind of made me feel like maybe I should should do a wig. Um, but she reviewed this, and it was so underwhelming for me. I mean, she looked beautiful, and she enjoyed it, and that's super, but it just did not look like my thing. It's very much like, it's it's one colored note. Like for me, all of these different Orgasm, Orgasm X, whatever these collections are, they all kind of look the same. So I don't know. I'm not that interested. I think NARS is quite pricey. Um, the only thing I've ever bought from NARS was this which is there, this soft matte paint pot, no, soft matte complete concealer, which doesn't work very well for me either. So I'm not that excited, I'm not interested, so go away. <laughs> Sorry. Um, for those of you who are here and you watch Teresa's Dead, you would have seen her talk about this product already, and now I can't unsee it anymore. I will just say it's a new uh, highlighter balm, Lip and Cheek Highlighter Balm from EOS. I'm not gonna say anything. Go watch her video. I'll link it down below. And see what she says about this. And then 
then you'll not be able to unsee it ever again either. Um, I like the EOS uh, lip glosses. I have a recent one that's actually like in the stick form from them. This is like a pineapple one. Um, so I'm not interested in this one. Um, and because I can't unsee it, I can't, I could not purchase it anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. All right, guys, three or four more things and then we are done. There's more than I thought there would be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're definitely talking about that. Okay, so there are new powders out from Gucci. I think a couple of people have already tried these. These are the vintage, it's a vintage vibe, Powder de Butte uh, Mass Matte Press Powder by Gucci. So I have seen that these are fragranced, so because of that, it's gonna be definitely a hard pass for me. Also, I don't need to be spending no, come back. It doesn't say. I'm gonna guess it's like over 50 pounds for, sorry, over 50 pounds for a high, uh, this powder. And then you're gonna say, but Carolyn, you bought the Chantecaille powder. It's like, yes, but I had to. It was like, I had to. Teresa suggested it, I had to buy it. Um, so I'm not gonna pick this up. I don't need another expensive powder right now. Um, no, not interested in that. There's some new stuff coming out from Revolution Beauty, Makeup Revolution, whatever the flip they, flip they want to call themselves now, um, which is this acid range. So there's some acid peels, some intense acid peel ones. Now, actually, I'm not that, I'm not going to object to these. I'm actually kind of interested. And the reason is, is I've noticed that I've been doing a lot of like, um, what was it, glycolic acid peels, like especially here on my chin and my nose. And I have really started to see the difference in the way that the skin looks in those areas. And I'm wearing foundation right now. And usually, like this area especially, would look like you could see the foundation in each of the pores. And it's not doing that right now. And I'm using a foundation that I have used before. So I think there is something to that. So within this range, they have quite a few different ones and they are quite cheap. And I don't think you need to spend that much to get a reasonable quality product. So there is a gluconic acid one, which is 1% uh, hyaluronic acid as well. And that one is more of the mild side. There's a phytic acid one for dry skin. Um, there's a salicylic acid and phytic acid one for combination skin. There's another one for sensitive skin. And then there's one for oily skin, which would be me. And that helps to go into the pores. So some of these might be kind of fun to try. You're supposed to only use them once a week. Price seems pretty good at like 10 pounds. So I might pick one of these up. I'm actually kind of interested in. What is this? We're not gonna talk about that. Okay. Is this going to be the last thing? Yes, actually. Okay. So the last thing is something I literally saw yesterday. Was it yesterday or this morning? Yesterday. And I nearly screamed <laughs> because I want it and I want it so bad, but I only want it because of how it looks. I don't know anything about the products. I don't know anything about the brand other than it's the cutest freaking thing that I've ever seen in my whole goddamn life. And it is the new summer collection from Paul and Joe. It's all cats. <laughs> Oh my god okay so i'll show you the pictures show you everything so there are eye colors um which have a little cat in the middle um and there are how many of them five different ones of that then we have these lipsticks come on look at them they have the color and then like a sheer thing so those would be like a pretty wash of color oh my god then there is a pressed powder with a cat imprint in it I know it's gonna go away as soon as I use it, I don't care. And then this mirror. So, yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna be able to get this, but I'm gonna to have to probably get these. I just think it's too cute. And I know Paul and Joe, this is what they're known for, is these really, really cute cat, usually cat-themed packaging. Um, I have like a folder that's Paul and Joe. I have a little bag, Paul and Joe is really, really popular in Japan, um, so I'm very, I'm not just tempted, I'm determined. <laughs> so after this, I might go uh, googly where I might be able to find some of these. And I don't, I don't care how they perform, guys. I'm being serious. They're just cute. I just I want them. They're cute. <laughs> Betty is snoring so loud now. Betty. Okay, I think he's done snoring. All right, guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you. Uh, uh, found it useful, found it entertaining, whatever, it's okay. Um, if you're interested in any of this stuff, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to chat with you guys about it. I know I've been really, really crappy about responding to comments in the past few weeks, but depression and work and stuff makes for like poor YouTube 
communication kind of thing. Anyway, I'll try and be better about it this week. Um, and yeah, that's it. I have another video hopefully coming up this week, maybe two. I don't know. I'm not going to stick to any kind of schedule at the moment, just whenever I really feel like it. I will try and stick to these ones though, because they are my most fun ones to do. All right, guys, have a great day. Take it easy, and we will see you in my next video. <laughs> bye bye.